Welcome back guys. We're gonna start into part two of the tube chassis or space frame build, whatever you wanna call it. And this is kind of where I'm at. I got the supports for the rearmost part of the subframe uh, fully welded. I made these ones for the front, all nice and tig. They're just kind of sitting up there right now. So the ones at the back are six inches at a 30 degree bevel. And then the ones up here at the front are nine inches also with a 30 degree bevel. And I think the way I have it planned is from the top bar, the top main hoop here, I'm going to have an angle come down and touch just behind the rear here. So I want that angle, um, facing the direction it is so it's easy to get a extension in there on a ratchet and then same thing up here I want them facing the driver or facing forward to the car same thing so you can get a um, extension with a ratchet in there fairly easy I think the plan is to just carry a piece of tube straight to here one between them and then one connecting to the other side and then use uh, that'll be all inch and three quarter and then I'm going to X brace it to the rears and that'll be inch and a half and that'll be more than enough support. Uh, some of the guys I follow that build these cars, they just kind of end the tubing there. Uh, I know if you follow Cam in his GT86 tube chassis car, you'll see his rear supports are just ended there. Um, I think his triangulated support come down to somewhere up here. Um, he used a lot of his, or retained a lot of his stock body. So the plan with this car is to cut everything out. So the whole shell is removable. Uh, let's sneak to the back here. So as for what I'm going to do in the trunk, I'm a little undecided. I still got to tack all this stuff up so it stays where it's supposed to. I think the plan is going to be just to run a bar with like a loop. Uh, it'll actually be more of a squared loop. And then I want to do cantilever suspension. So off of the bar that comes around the loop, there'll be a bar that comes out on an angle, goes across and catches this bar up here. And then there, it'll come out on an angle. So this will still be accessible with the ratchet. And then I'll have a support that X braces across and that'll hold it all together. There'll also be um, a tube. So the piece that comes across here will be mirrored on this side and then there'll be a tube that comes across them and that'll hold uh, the rears of um, either coilover. But I think before I get ahead of myself, I'm gonna get all this stuff squared up, tacked into place. I'll build my supports for this and then I will get my triangulated supports made up and tacked into place so that way I technically could cut the floor out, bolt the subframe here, and I'll see where the actual final stance of the rear of the car is going to be and then I can start making this back hoop. Alright guys, I got the Horizontals that are going to the rear, all tacked into place. I hit all four corners here. Started running beads around those tubes. I have to get a bead halfway from the bottom up to the top here so I can run um, the connecting piece that goes between the two. Okay, let's fast forward. It's been about five days. I've got the other triangulated support built after doing a bunch of research. I'm gonna keep it the way I had it. It is gonna be plenty strong. I am gonna tie in this front bar to this hoop uh, with the cantilever suspension support. 
This contraption is just holding the hoop because the hoop is out two degrees. Like it's barely, it's barely holding onto it. It's just enough that I had to push it over so it falls in the groove. And you can see how I've notched it. So kind of thinking ahead, here, let's go to this side. So kind of thinking ahead, I have to weld this bar from the roll cage first, and then I can weld this center support, and then the hoop will tie into the back. So I have to weld that one at least halfway first, then I can weld this one at least halfway, and then I can weld this one all the way around. And then when the cage gets pulled, I can finish welding everything up there. I think in order to access uh, welding some of the things today, I can finally cut out the spare tire part of the floor pan. That way I can remove the hoop and I can sit in here and my welder will be comfortable going around those bottom edges. Uh, this is a bit of a sneak peek at what I'm thinking. This is one of my Detroit Speed coilovers. I've got a couple sets, uh, different lengths, spring rates, stuff like that. Again, doing some research, this is probably gonna be my best setup for the weight and what I'm hoping to do with the car. And you can kind of see, rough idea, don't mind the valve, it's on the wrong side. That will kind of be what I'm thinking. So the plan will be this bar here is gonna be triangulated or cross braced with the front mounts and then I'm gonna have a bar come up on an angle, shoot straight across, and then come back down on an angle and catch uh, this front horizontal bar. And it'll sit kind of somewhere in here. I gotta do some measuring, but somewhere in there. And that will hold the bracket for the actual cantilever. And then your rod end will come up through here. This stock suspension um, bracket will be removed because the body's gonna be held on in, I don't know, I think eight different spots I had it set out for. So I'm thinking the plan for today to finish up this video will be get this floor cut out, get them tacked in, get this center post tacked in, and hopefully get the front tacked into place. So that way it's all squared. And then I can start working on getting this piece built for the cantilever. Not a lot of fun to cut out, but I got enough room in here now. I can set my stool, get my foot pedal. Once all this is tacked into place and I got my crossbar up here built and it's X'd in, I can get my subframe hard mounted to my new mounts and I can cut a nice rectangle out of here. So for now, it doesn't have to be pretty, but I made sure I cut on the inside of this boxed in seam because I'm not sure if this is staying or not yet but uh, it was better safe than sorry. So both sides, I left lots of meat. Like I said, it wasn't cut straight. I just did it by eye. I avoided this area until I get under there and take apart what I don't need anymore. So this is where I'm at right now. I've got both of those secured in there. The subframe is still currently in the cart. And I've got my outers mocked up and my center, which is nice. It's gonna sit in there. So I'm gonna square up everything in here, tack that all in. Depending on how ambitious I feel, it'll I may start the X. I've been playing around with the uh, cantilever setup just to kind of keep me motivated, but uh, I'll burn these in and we'll check back in. Okay, so sometimes you run into things and you always gotta double check your measurements. So this is the driver's side uh, front subframe mount. And I'm having to put a, I don't know, that's probably an eighth inch washer had to there's there's two little welds that sit on here I think they're the ones that hold in um, the threaded nut and what happened was the welds run even on both sides so I got the passenger side sitting like nice and square I have checked every 
possible side and angle that you can do on it. And then coming to this one, the the mount itself, if I measure, let's just say off the top of this, uh, to the back side of this is what I was doing, it's off by like an eighth inch. This is an eighth inch too short compared to that side. So, I mean, an eighth inch is nothing, but it's one of those things where you measure, you know, six times. I can fix it now. I know the subframe then will sit like perfectly square in there. I've measured both these sides. I've measured off the rear two. I've measured uh, across on an X. With that little washer, believe it or not, everything is perfectly square. So just little things to remember when you're building. And that's where I'm going to call it quits for this video. I got all this tacked in. I got a lot of the seam welded on this back bar. The triangulated pieces are still just sitting there for now. And a little sneak peek at what's coming in the next few episodes. The triangulated or push rod suspension. Kind of, like I said, I, I put it up here just to keep me motivated. I had the hoop built for this. I think it's too, too short in this tub for what I want. So I will probably redo that. That'll be my first major piece of scrap in this whole build. So that's not too bad. Um, I have an idea in my head for connecting the body to the um, tube chassis. So we'll play around with that. But I think next episode, we're going to start with getting the suspension mocked up, uh, getting the stuff ordered this week for the push rod. I will 3D print or make out of wood the actual cantilever and then we can make a solid piece for the bottom to actually tack into place and hopefully get some working suspension. I can now cut this floor out and mount the subframe solid to the bottom of the new mounts that I have here. So we'll also see where the new subframe sits. We're going to go up. We're going to go up quite a bit. I'm going to get some um, height loss just in moving the subframe up from the original location. So I appreciate everybody tuning in. Uh, please, I mean, hit that subscribe button. It's free to you guys and helps me out a lot. So until next time, guys.